Hello, I am Simon Silva. I am uh, the head of regulatory affairs for Latin America. I am in Dr. Redis for four years now, and I've been working in the pharmaceutical industry for 18 years now. So I was working with uh, an Anvisa group of uh, work, uh, so working in new regulations for Brazil. When Dr. Redis found me and uh, they got very interested in this new area, these new regulations for APIs in Brazil, that's where we started to work. And uh, even before I joined Dr. Redis four years ago, I was working with nitrosamines and it was very interesting to see the collaboration with Dr. Redis where we could um, uh, make a report showing to Anvisa that our product was safe, was free from nitrosamines. So uh, this first work together uh, got improved, so I got hired by Dr. Redis. And since then, uh, this paid off because Dr. Redis was the first company to have his own regulatory team in Latin America and Brazil focused in the new regulation. Uh, to make ADIFAS possible, to make the Brazilian GMP also possible. And uh, this paid off because in uh, these four years, uh, we had the first CADIFA uh, for Sugamadex ready in the first months of the new regulation. We also got our six plants uh, uh, GMP approved by Anvisa in the first years. Many, many APIs in these first filings. Uh, and also, uh, besides the number, uh, the quality of our work was uh, very well renowned. Uh, the customers like very much our work. Uh, the quality of our documentations and the technical capabilities of our team is uh, well recognized and it's uh, truly amazing to work with this team uh, for Brazil. As we know, uh, Anvisa and other agencies in Latin America are now raising the bar for uh, a very regulated market as the same as USFDA and the same as uh, EMA and the DQM. So the level of requirement is very, very high. So being recognized in this market, it's it's really amazing. And this is only possible because we have a tuned team, uh, QA, QC, regulatory, R&D, especially uh, all of them working together uh, in a very fast manner to make the DMFs and to make the GMPs possible for Brazil. Um, as I said, I have a, two, a full team here in Brazil, three people with me and uh, five people more in India. So that's why, that's how this makes possible having all these numbers uh, in Brazil. Another uh, uh, landmark for us was to get uh, above the 100 numbers of DMF uh, for Brazil. So this is truly amazing because most of these DMFs and APIs have customers uh, boarded in. So uh, we are bringing a lot of new molecules to Brazil. For example, uh, we are working uh, with a target of the US market and we are bringing all those DMFs also to Brazil. So the moment the originator have their product in the US market, we also have uh, material to get started, to get uh, the development ongoing uh, with our customers in Brazil. So uh, we are always on the first wave of DMFs and so we're bringing the best and bringing the newest uh, APIs uh, to Brazil and Latin America. Um, what is also truly amazing about Dr. Redis is that uh, we are working in multiple uh, fronts. Uh, we work with patents, we try to uh, make the uh, API available much earlier to our customers and to our patients here in Brazil and Latin America, uh, which is to say we are trying to develop um, new salts, new polymorphic forms, and even uh, semi-finished products we're also offering for this market. So it's really amazing to work with Dr. Redis, um, to be part of it and to be, uh, you know, with this uh, full frame of work uh, where we can do whatever service is needed for our customers, uh, ranging from a CDMO, a CMO, uh, or even uh, other types of business. I'm very proud of being part of these four years of Dr. Redis, and uh, I wish Dr. Redis uh, a very good uh, birthday for these 40 years, and also that it remains in the market and making a part of people's lives for more 40 years, more and more.